This is one of my favorite trigonometric tricks, which you should know if you're planning on doing the MAT or the TMUA later this year. My name is Jamie and I study mathematics at the University of Oxford and now I help students from all across the globe who are looking to study maths or similar subjects at Oxford and Cambridge. Let's have a look at this question. In triangle ABC, if tan of C is negative, then tan of A times tan of B is less than 1, tan of A times tan of B is bigger than 1, tan of A plus tan of B plus tan of C is less than 0, or tan of A plus tan of B plus tan of C is bigger than 0. And this is one of those questions where more than one answer can be correct. Obviously here A and B can't both be correct, and similarly C and D can't both be correct. Do have a go at this problem, I'm going to dive right in. So firstly, let's look at A and B, because obviously they're quite similar. Tan A times tan B, is it bigger than 1 or is it less than 1? Well, firstly, if our triangle has tan of C negative, then because all the angles in a triangle are between 0 and pi, and we also know that A plus B plus C equals pi, because angles in a triangle add up to pi, uh, we know that tan of C is negative, so if we just think about a graph of tan, looks something like this. And like this, something there. Ooh. And that there is pi. So tan of c is negative, so c has to be bigger than pi over 2 and less than pi. And so we have maybe a is here and b is here, for example. Okay, so the question is is tan of a times tan of b less than 1 or bigger than 1? Let's answer that. And we're going to use a nice little fact here. Firstly, uh, let's assume a is smaller than b or smaller than or equal to b, doesn't really matter. It's without loss of generality. I'm going to write down a fact here and then I'm going to prove this fact. So tan of a times tan of pi over 2 minus a equals 1. Why is this true? Well, if we just draw a right angle triangle, which I'll draw over here, and I'm going to make one of the angles here a, what is tan of a? Well, it's opposite divided by adjacent. So if the opposite was y and the adjacent is x, this thing here would be y over x. Now, what's tan of pi over 2 minus a? Well, pi over 2 minus a is precisely this angle here. And what is tan of it? Well, it's opposite divided by adjacent. So opposite is x, adjacent is y, and obviously that's going to simplify to 1. So we get this really nice identity, tan of a times tan of pi over 2 minus a equals 1. Cool. Now we're going to use this here to look at tan a times tan b. The crucial part is since c is bigger than pi over 2, we know that a plus b, or in fact I can write it like this, so b is pi minus c minus a. But we know that a is, oh, sorry, we know that c is bigger than pi over 2, so this thing here is less than pi minus pi over 2 minus a, which is equal to pi over 2 minus a. So b, angle b, is less than pi over 2 minus a. Okay, great. But we can see here that since a um, is a positive angle and less than pi over 2, pi over 2 minus a is going to be uh, an acute angle as well. And so maybe it's somewhere over here. But clearly tan of b is less than tan of pi over 2 minus a. Tan of b is that number, tan of pi over 2 minus a, that number. Great. And so therefore, I know that tan of a times tan of b is going to be less than tan of a times tan of pi over 2 minus a. And we know from earlier that that is equal to 1. And so tan of a times tan of b is less than 1. So option a is correct and option b is incorrect. Okay, great, lovely. Now we need to investigate tan of a plus tan of b plus tan of c and whether it's positive or negative. Before I get into that, I mentioned earlier I'm a full-time mathematics tutor. Over this, uh, uh, I help students who are looking to study maths at Oxbridge, and I have a great track record. Over 80% of the students I work with end up receiving Oxbridge offers, and in fact, last year, 12 of my 13 students end up ended up with Oxbridge offers. So if you are looking to apply to Oxbridge and really want to up your game, get in touch. Link is in the description below. Let's have a look at tan A plus tan B plus tan C. Is it positive or is it negative? Now, there's two ways to solve this. I'm going to be showing you kind of the more bog standard way that maybe they expect you to do it. Then I'm going to be showing you the beautiful trick. Let's have a look. So tan A plus tan B plus tan C, is it positive or is it negative? Well, we're going to start with the fact that A plus B plus C is pi. That seems like that's got to be useful somehow. And so that tells me that A plus B is equal to pi minus C. And so that means that tan of a plus b is equal to tan of pi minus c. And then this thing here is simply minus tan of c. How do I know that? Well, you can just look at a tan graph. So if I take a tan graph, I'm just going to draw it very, very roughly. 
So C is maybe roughly here. Uh, and you can just by the symmetry of it, like that value there, this would be pi minus C, is going to be like kind of the, the positive counterpart to what tan of C is. So tan of pi minus C and tan of C, those are the exact same number in magnitude, except one's positive and one's negative. Okay, so tan of A plus B is equal to minus tan of C. Okay, cool. Uh, and what is tan of A plus B? Now, I'm not going to be using the uh, compound angle for me because that's not on the syllabus. Um, how do we tackle this though? Well, here's a really, really nice trick using the graph of tan. So I'm going to draw a much bigger version of tan. And I'm only going to go from 0 to pi over 2 because we, we know a and b are between 0 and pi by 2. And so my graph looks something like this. And it has an, uh, an asymptote over here. And pi over 2. So I'm going to make a maybe this angle. Oh no, I'll make it a maybe a bit further out. So A I'll make here, maybe B I'll make quite close to A, and then A plus B, if I do this roughly to scale, will, will be somewhere there. Now, my claim is that tan of A plus B is bigger than tan of A plus tan of B. And we can see that from this graph. How do we see it from this graph? Well, tan of a is this value and tan of b is this value and tan of a plus b is this value so visually you can kind of see it but that's obviously not not nowhere near a proof the idea is this we're going to uh, start from tan b obviously tan of a plus b is bigger than tan b now the question is what's this length here well this length here is precisely a and we can clearly see that that gradient there is far steeper than this gradient here, so from the origin to a. And that's because tan of x is a convex function. And now if we just kind of look at the, work out the gradients of these, we'll get a very nice result. So if I look at the gradient of, so using the, this observation that this gut line is steeper than that line, we get that the gradient here, so tan of a plus b minus tan of b all over a is greater than the gradient of this line which is tan of a minus tan of zero, which is zero, all over a. And if I cancel the a's from both sides, I get tan of a plus b minus tan of b is bigger than tan a. Move that onto that side, I get this result here. So that's a pretty, pretty nice way of proving this. I quite like this. So using the graph and using this convex property, uh, which we can visually see from the graph. And so now if we use that up here, so remember we earlier showed that tan of a plus b is equal to minus tan of c. If we now combine that with this, we get minus tan of C is bigger than tan A plus tan B. And if I now add tan C on both sides, I get tan of A plus tan of B plus tan of C is negative. And that there proves that tan A plus tan B plus tan C must be negative. So C is the correct answer, not D. So the correct answers to this question are A and C. So that's the way that maybe they would have expected you to solve this because I didn't use the compound angle formula. But if you use the compound angle formula, you can deduce something really, really beautiful. So this is a really, really useful result. So claim in triangle PQR. So PQR is any triangle. It doesn't have to be this ABC triangle we had above. Um, tan of P plus tan of Q plus tan of r equals tan of p times tan of q times tan of r. Really, really nice result. And this is actually pretty straightforward to prove. So the proof, we're going to start from the fact that p plus q is equal to pi minus r. These are the angles. And so I'm just going to use t here to denote tan. So tan of p plus tan of q is equal to tan of pi minus r, which is minus tan of r. But now, if we're allowed, allowing ourselves to use the compound angle formula, we get tan of p plus tan of q all over 1 minus tan of p tan of q is equal to minus tan of r. And so if I cross multiply here, uh, I get tan of p plus tan of q. So all of these should be implied, sorry. Tan of p plus tan of q equals minus tan of r plus tan of p tan of q tan of r. And then just adding the tan r to both sides gives us 
this result really, really nicely. Now, why is this useful? Or how can this be used in, in our case? Well, we're, we were trying to establish whether tan A plus tan B plus tan C is positive or negative. But now, from what we have, from the result we've just proved, we know that this is the same as whether tan A times tan B times tan C is negative or positive. Well, we've already established that that's negative, but remember that means that C has to be bigger than pi over 2. So that means that A and B are forced to be acute angles, and so they must be positive. And so you're doing a positive times a positive times a negative, overall that's going to be negative, and so that, yeah, the answer does have to be C. That's a really nice trick, and that's one that I think it's just worth memorizing for the TMUA, uh, certainly TMUA, maybe even the MAT as well. Uh, it's such an elegant trick. It's one of my favorite trick identities, extremely, or just favorite identities, full stop, really underrated, uh, that the sum of the tans tangents of angles in a triangle is equal to the product. Really nice result. And as I say, if you are looking to prepare for the MAT and the TMUA and you want some help, I help students who are struggling with mathematics and struggling to get high scores in the MAT and TMUA in just as little as 12 weeks secure Oxbridge offers. Link in the description below. I'll leave a video on screen where I solve another fun MAT TMUA problem. So go and check that one out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.